Hey guys, so yesterday I uploaded a video about a tier list of sorts talking about the damage of different classes and how much they did using actual data from the Bible. And I'm pretty sure in that tier list, they probably used this website right here logs.fau.dev. And I want to talk a little bit about this website today because I actually think that this is a very useful tool for anybody to use who is looking to up their game. It's not only useful for people who are using the Bible themselves, but of course I think it's gonna be a little bit more applicable to them. But even people who aren't using the Bible, I think this website can be a very useful tool for you in examining like what you can do to increase your damage and things like that and see how you're doing against other people. So Let's explore the website, right? At its surface, this website basically allows you to take a look at performance and logs that other people have uploaded. Yes. So other people that are using the Bible, they upload their logs onto this website and you can explore these logs yourself. So it, you can filter it by like, you know, the, uh, the rate itself, like this is ivory tower. This is a con, this is kind goal, right? And then you can click like, okay, well, I want to see how people are performing in, let's say, you know, gate one, uh, Volbus. And I want to see like, okay, well, I'm a striker player, right? I want to see how other striker players are performing. So you can, um, kind of filter by gear score filter and sort by like performance, right? I want to see like, what is the ceiling that people are performing at right now? It looks like in this one right here, somebody performed really, really well and had 34.9 million damage, you know, DPS. And you can actually go in and click this open button and pull up the log to see what happened, what their individual stats are. Like, are they hitting their crits perfectly right? How many tiger strikes are they throwing out? How much damage are they doing on their tiger strikes? This looks like this guy has hit a 50, 551 million maximum hit on a tiger strike. Like all of this is data that you can take to look and use for yourself and see how you're comparing to these people, right? How you're comparing to these players. You could say like, oh, well, you know, using these numbers, this prob guy probably has like a lot better gems than I, a lot better gear than I, he's a uh, 1630, whereas I'm like, you know, 1620, 1610 or something like that, right? But you can see like how these people are performing and use that data to kind of compare to yourself. Of course, this is where the Bible comes in, right? If you are a Bible user, this is going to be extremely applicable to you because you can compare this one to one. You can be like, okay, I'm a striker player. Here are my numbers that I'm doing. And why am I doing more or less damage than this person? Is it because, like I said earlier, do that better gear than I do, right? 551 mil maximum hit. That's like 200 mil more than I usually hit on my Tiger Strikes, right? Okay, this guy's clearly gear gapping me. But then you can go down and look down the list, look for other people. It's like, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe I'm not going to be looking at like a 20, 30 mil damage strike, right? Maybe I'll look at this one, right? 21 mil and see, is this guy more close to what my numbers are? And look, okay, this person, person's running SO. They are doing a 163 mil maximum hit. Oh, that's about the same as I do. But they're doing about, I don't know, 10 mil more DPS than I am. So I can go in here and take a look like, okay, am I just not hitting my back attacks enough, right? Am I not hitting my back attacks enough? Um, is it like a uh, crit damn, like, is it, am I not critting enough? Or is it like, am I casting too little hits, right? Am I using my skills too little? You can go in here and really kind of break down all of the numbers and see like why you're performing or not performing to the level that you'd want. I think this is a very useful tool for anybody who wants to go and improve themselves, find ways to like really min max their, um, their combat abilities and their uptime and things like that, because you can actually see the data from other people and how well they're doing. Now, the other thing you can do as, um, I talked about mostly raids, you can also do this for guardian raids, right? Gargledees, Sonavel, Hanu, different Guardian raids. You can even go into like Trial, Carl, Trial, Akades, and do like things like Hell Mode, right? You can filter for Hell Mode, Hard Mode, Normal, things like that. There's a lot that you can do on this website to take a look at data from other people who have uploaded their data and compare yourself to them. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? You're like, well, why would I these people upload logs of themselves when they're not doing well? 
So isn't all this data going to be skewed towards people who are just only doing well? Well, that's not exactly the case because one, some people choose to just upload every single one of their logs, right? That's just like the easiest way. I think like um, I was looking at uh, how people upload their logs. There's like a bulk um, upload button that people can do. And I think a lot of people chose to do that. But the other thing is that even though let's say um, you click here, right? Striker 63, uh, actually, let's probably take a look at another one. Let's take a look at a con, right? Con gate three hard striker. It's not like all of these are like super, super high performing guys, right? You can go down the list and you can see like some people are not performing very well in terms of their damage. You can see like all the way down. Now these people are performing pretty well, but um, as you go down further, you can see people start doing worse. And the reason for this is because it's not just that the person, the striker is the one that is uploading the logs. It might be somebody else. It might not be them. So the person who's like, oh, this is a juicy log I want to upload to this website, they aren't necessarily the striker. So you get to see people from all levels of performance get put into this website and you can see, compare and contrast to them as well. The other thing is, you can search by player name. Not all of these have player names, right? As you can see, like these just say like striker number two, some are number four, but some of them say like, look at this nugget punch, right? This one has names for the entire thing. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I haven't really explored into it, but some of these do have names. And if you want to search by name, you can, like you could search my name. But the thing is, you kind of have to be signed in. So if you sign in, you can look up your own name. Earlier when I... Um, Earlier when I was signed in, you can I actually looked up like, oh, there's actually two of my parses here or two of my runs here. And you can see how you perform there. Not really sure why they did that. Honestly, I would prefer if they didn't include names at all because I don't know, it can, can definitely lead to some sort of toxicity somewhere down the line. But for now, I don't think this is like a widespread enough thing to where everybody's looking at it and can see and like, oh my gosh, it's that guy who does like way Z damage, right? Um, at the moment, it's not like that. But I can definitely see a point in which they could lead to that. But that's not really the point of this video. The point of this video is really to show you this tool that you can use to really like compare and contrast your damage with other people and really use that data to just like improve your own skills. Go in there, take a look at like, you know, how these per people are performing, see why they're performing so well or why they're not performing well and compare that to your own gameplay. Now, I did mention that this can be used by somebody who is not using um, the logs. And it's going to be a little bit more limited in your usage. But here is how you can do it, right? It's the same thing. You want to go look at, let's say, your class striker. I want to look at Kyangle Gate 1 hard mode, see how these people are performing, right? See why certain people are performing well or not. So I'm going to go take a look at this one, right? Oh, OK. Well, this person here, Skyru is doing a 20.3 mil. Well, as a non-Bible user, I don't know how much I'm doing in terms of damage percentage, in terms of DPS, but what you can see is their damage percentage, right? You can see like, okay, well, they're doing about 34.1% in this party of 1620, 1630 and such. They're probably overperforming because, you know, they're not like the highest level, highest item level, but you can see like, okay, I'm hitting about upright here. Then you can compare it to yourself. Like, am I hitting upright? Am I able to hit upright in a situation like this where I'm playing with like an artillerist and an aeromancer? Aeromancer, a little bit lower on the DPS chart and the DPS uh, tier list. Artillerist, probably a little bit higher. So you can kind of see like, oh, okay, well, this striker is probably performing average to above average. And if I was in this situation, would I be able to do these numbers or have I done these numbers before in the past in this situation? So you can kind of like use this to see like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm probably performing about average or above average to compare to this person. And then you can see um, and compare and contrast using that and try to use that to improve your own gameplay and see like, oh, what are they doing well, right? Well, this person was doing well because they're hitting a bunch of back attacks. They're hitting a bunch of, you know, um, they're using their skills a lot. Like you can use that to really kind of take a look at your performance, even though it's not like if you're not using the Bible, it's not going to be an exact science, but you can still go in and kind of like eyeball it as well. I think it's still going to be useful. Of course, not as useful as if you were using the Bible, but it still is applicable. So go ahead, everybody, and take a look at it. 
and use it to improve your own gameplay. All right, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. As always, if you enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And also I stream every single night on twitch.tv slash misoxiru. So hopefully I see you guys there. But if not, hopefully I'll see y'all on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.